you know, recently I've been doing these in groups of four or five rather than like a, a big uh, number. And I'm, I've been trying to, I've been actually trying to mix up like little couple words that I say before it, uh, which I know like in a previous intro, I said like, you can, you can tell what batch it's from based on that, but uh, now you can't anymore. On the other hand, I feel like uh, the, the quality difference between like different batches has been pretty noticeable. I know I did one not too long ago where I was sick and I think those kind of sucked, but uh, hopefully these ones are a little bit better. Um, and let's go ahead and say something about Rabble. Uh, prosperity, it's an attack. Um, I think more notably than, than being an attack, it's, it's this plus three cards. Like that's, that's why you're going to get Rabble. You're almost never going to get Rabble for this attack. Um, so like five, five cost smithy things apply. Uh, often you'll be happy to get a better five cost smithy, um, than, than rabble, uh, just because this, this attack, um, you know, if we, if we look at it, it's discards the actions of treasure and put the rest back in any order they choose. So they're going to be top decking, you know, victory cards, curses, uh, maybe night cards, but, um, you know, these, these victory cards, curses are, are things that people generally try to get rid of out of their deck. And so, uh, for a lot of the game, the Rabble attack is kind of just cycling through their deck kind of pointlessly. Um, it's not doing a whole lot. Maybe it disrupts their tracking, but that's kind of the extent of that attack. Um, it can be pretty good against uh, money, like an underdeveloped deck that's not trying to draw, just because uh, in those you do get the victory cards, um, and, and those will go on top of the deck and make it so they can't do stuff.